Many world religions tell of spirits and of possession. Jesus cast out demons in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, King Saul commands the witch of Endor to call up the spirit of the prophet Samuel. Demons and spirits appear in Buddhist and Hindu texts and in Native American tradition. But can a spirit inhabit an inanimate object? Ophthalmology technician Mary Jo Chudley believes two of her antique dolls are possessed. Um, when I brought them home about two weeks later, I got really, really sick. But right before that, um, we were hearing doors opening and closing and, you know, bangs, you know, on the floor where the dolls were, but we didn't put two two together because we didn't think it. It took me a while to actually put them in my car and the other one in the shed to finally, for and everything in the house settled for me to realize it's the dolls. Could you explain for viewers why is why is the doll in a box? The doll's in a box because she has a very negative, more demonic spirit attached to her that somebody put into her. And it's all based with holy wood. Yeah. It's actually the holy the holy oil is actually baked into the wood. So that will can hold all the negative energy in there so she can't really portray it out as much. So she has to stay in there with all the blessed stuff, the blessed salt and everything, just so she can't hurt me or anybody that comes in this house. She still can affect things and make things move and make noise, but she can't physically hurt us. Do you believe that a doll could be possessed by a spirit? Would you bring one of these dolls into your house?